welcome to the channel. So this is going to be my first video. So this is just a little common area we have in our area where we come down here and part around with our trucks a little bit. So we haven't really showcased these one-tenth scales on the channel very much recently. <laughs> Landed on all fours at least. But my truck is the Red Cat Everest Gen 8, or Gen 8, Gen, Gen 7, 7, Gen 7 Pro. And the only real things I've done to this truck are put a light bar on it, a rock light. We took the shocks from the axial race bond we have mm -hmm. and put them on here because yep. stock one's really stiff yeah we put a tactic servo in here also from the race because mm -hmm. yours failed yep mine failed and you got some scales accessories on it yep i have a trasheroo that you can put things in no trash in it yeah uh two max tracks or mm -hmm. traction boards I have a little piece of paracord down here for a to tow cable I have. Mm -hmm. And you just recently did some repairs, right Joe? Yeah. I had to put aluminum drive shafts in here because the U-joints on the plastic ones wore out. On the end rear, you can see the rear front way down in there. And what else? And in the transmission, I had to put the upgraded steel, uh, steel gears in there. Because the I just plastic noticed ones. you got a broken cage here. Ooh, I didn't even know I had that. But I had to put the steel gears in there because the plastic ones were completely stripped out. So with my dad's wraith, what we've done to it is we put a Traxxas servo in there because the one that was in there wasn't very strong with these big 2.2s on here. Then we have Coil coilover springs from King Shocks. Those coilovers make my butt look big. <laughs> and you guys may be wondering what that humming is. So that humming is actually a fan that we put on here from Hot Racing. The motor in in my dad's truck, which is an upgraded motor, which is I think it's a rebuildable motor, right? It is a rebuildable motor. It at our local hobby shop it would get really hot and it would start to smell hot so the last time we were in there we bought the, bought a fan and put it on there it's got a heat and a heat sink the, sir, the fan is mounted onto a heat, heat sink with holes maybe i can get a shot in there for you you can see the blue there's the blue there and the fans right on top of it. Yeah. Uh, you're probably not going to see that too much with the camera. There's the heat sink in blue. You can see, you can just see the fan in there. We also recently got the BF Goodrich crawler TAs for this truck. Where are they? Crawlers, yeah. Crawlers. BF Goodrich crawler TAs. 2.2s. 2.2s. And you can see, you can see this 2.2, .2, the tire, 
compared to my 1.9, which is the same exact tire, but in a smaller size. Yeah. You can see the difference between how big the track is. And we got a little RC wave going. Can give us a little RC wave? But yeah, so not many scale accessories on that truck, but in this truck, my truck, the Everest, I'm kind of making it to be a scale comp competition truck. One day I hope to put it in a competition with scale accessories. I've been talking about saving my allowance money to buy an Axial Capra. Because of two reasons. One, we knew at some point my Everest was just going to get ridiculous, ex ridiculously expensive to just keep buying new parts to repair it when it breaks. And new parts are really hard to find for Red Cat tr well, trucks. Well, and, and you know the thing is for the for the folks that were saying, well, why didn't you just buy a, a good brand name truck to begin with? And that was because when we first started getting into RC, it was when we bought these Red Cat trucks just to kind of test the waters and see if we were really going to dig this whole RC thing. And now that we have, of course, now we want, oops, <laughs> different trucks. Wouldn't you say we've become sort of an axial family axial yeah and like a lot of people are axial fans just because they're good quality trucks well we got the axial 24s too yeah we have the scx 24s and maybe they... we should show some video of the X uh scx 24s right now here I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like what you saw with the trucks today make sure you share like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions about our trucks
it, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, look at that.